Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start recording. Um, just as a reminder, all of my just-in-time training webinars will be recorded and put up on our council's website. It's www.gsdsw.org. And I'm actually gonna type it into the chat as I'm saying it. Um, look for Cookies Plus. And then you're going to uh, select for cookie sellers and resources. Scroll to the bottom and you will see where all of the past just in time training webinars have been. Um, yeah, scroll to the bottom and you will see where the just in time training webinars are and that's where you can view um, this one, once it's been put up, as well as find some of the other resources available to you. So we are going to go ahead and get started. So I am very excited to announce that we will be offering the credit card option through our ABC Smart Cookie system. Um, so this means that you will be able to accept credit cards. The girls will be able to accept credit cards both individually as well as at Boost. It will automatically go into the council's account. However, the girls and the troops will still get credit for it. So that means less money the girls have to collect, less money you have to collect, um, but everybody will still get the credit accordingly. And the one feature that I really, really am excited and I could not wait to tell you guys, if you use our um, uh, option, council will pay all fees. So there will be no fees charged for credit card usage provided you use the uh, ABC Smart Cookie system. Um, so this is, there's no extra technology that you have to have. Um, you will be able to access it from any smartphone or device. You'll be able to go in and I'm going to show you a video that ABC has actually put together. It's not completely um, activated on my side yet, so I can't walk you through it, but ABC has the video and I'm going to show it to you in a moment. Um, that will show you how uh, every step works. Okay. Yes, I'm really excited about that. Um, and it's been really hard for me not to say anything because I've had lots of questions about it. So uh, that's why I'm super stoked about this. So I'm going to pull up the first of the two videos. They're very short videos. This one is um, like two minutes long. So give me a moment. All right, and hopefully this works. Please let me know if you can't hear or see it. Right now it's a black screen, but let me know if you can't hear or see it. So this is for booth credit card option. If your council has granted permission for girls to accept credit card payments at booth sale, you will see booth as an option on your smart cookies menu. Credit card payments can be accepted on any laptop or mobile device with internet connectivity. When using a mobile device, girls can either log in to Smart Cookies on the Smart Cookies mobile app, available for both iOS and Android devices, or via their device's web browser by navigating to www.abcsmartcookies.com. Accepting credit card payments makes it easy for customers to purchase the Girl Scout cookies they love quickly and easily at food sales. In order to use the booth sale credit card functionality, your troops booth sales must be entered into smart cookies. Taking credit card payments at booth sales is easy. Log in to smart cookies, navigate to the booth option on your menu. Click on take booth credit card payment on the menu. Your troops booth sales assigned for that day will be available to select. Click on the booth sale you are participating in. Enter the customer's order by variety. Smart Cookies will provide the total of the purchase. Enter an email address if the customer chooses to receive an email confirmation of the purchase. Otherwise, skip the email field and proceed to enter the credit card information. Once you have entered all required information, click Pay Now. You'll receive a confirmation that the transaction has completed. 
your troop will receive financial credit for the credit card payments you collect at a booth sale. Your troop volunteer will credit all of the girls that participated in the booth sale for the packages sold once the booth has been completed. To view credit card payments that you have taken at a booth, return to the main menu, click booth and select the view booth credit card payments option. You can use the filter field to enter data to select specific data if desired. Participating in booth sales is a great way to reach your cookie sale goals. Accepting credit card payments at booth sales makes it easy for consumers to purchase delicious Girl Scout cookies quickly and easily. Thanks for watching. Was everybody was everybody able to hear that okay? Yes. Okay, awesome. Yes. Okay, cool. All right, so there's gonna be one more that I wanna show you guys. And this is going to be for individual girl um, credit cards. So, um, you know, as we always say, if it's all booths must be entered into ABC Smart Cookie, and we have many, many reasons why. Now, the credit card option is one more reason why you need to make sure you have those in there in order for the girls to get the credit um, on the right sale. Now, this is for girls who are going to be using the credit card. Um, uh, on an individual method as well. Smart Cookies makes it easy for girls to accept payment by credit card for either girl delivered orders or for orders placed at booth sale events. No, girl, girls girl. can log in to abcsmartcookies.com from any laptop device or any mobile device with internet access. Girls can also log in using our ABC Smart Cookies mobile, which can be downloaded from Google Play or from the App Store for iOS devices. To accept a payment on an order that's been placed via an e-card, navigate to Manage My Orders, find the order that you wish to accept payment for, click on the Edit pen, navigate to the order screen, verify your order. You will be able to make changes if you need to change the quantities. Mark your order as being delivered and paid, and you will see the options for payment appear. Click on the credit card option and next. You'll see the credit card processing page appear. Complete the required information. If you're using an iPhone, you should have the opportunity through the Safari browser to actually scan the credit card so that it will automatically populate the data. Enter in the zip code of the cardholder and then click pay now. A confirmation page will confirm your transaction. On the mobile device, you'll navigate to your manage orders page in the same way that you would on a laptop. Find the order that you wish to accept payment for. Click into the order, navigate to the bottom of the page and mark the order as paid and delivered. And you'll see the presentation of the credit card option for payment. Fill in the credit card information or scan the card if you're using an iPhone. And once your transaction is completed, you'll receive the confirmation page. To take a cookie order on your mobile device, navigate to My Orders on the menu, then to Take a Cookie Order. You'll be presented with the Customer Detail page where you can enter in the email address and any other information you wish to capture. Click Next. Enter in the number of packages of each variety for the customer. Then navigate to the Payment page for credit card and you'll be presented with the credit card processing page. Complete the required data or scan the card. Once your transaction is completed, you'll see the confirmation page. To accept a credit card payment at a booth sale, navigate to Booth on your menu, then Take Booth Credit Card Payment. You'll see a list of any booths that are assigned to your troop on that day. Be sure if there are multiple booths listed to select the correct booth event that you are attending. Select your booth, click apply, enter in the order for the consumer. Smart Cookies will provide the total of your order 
If a consumer would like an email confirmation of their order, you can enter in an email, but it is not a required field. Click next and you'll be presented with the credit card payment processing page. Complete the page or scan if you're using an iPhone and then click pay now. You'll receive the confirmation page that lets you know that your order has been completed. Thanks for watching. Awesome. All right. So I am I am glad as well. Um, I will um, get them over to Ileana uh, to have her put them up onto our website along with the video for this training. Um, my goal is by tomorrow, um, but just keep checking back to our council website for the information. Now I am going Correct, Judith, the, the credit card option is not live yet because our program, first of all, has not officially started. Um, it may also take an extra couple of days for the, the credit card feature to click on. Um, some of our final paperwork got delayed in going in. Um, so if it doesn't, if it's not available right away, just keep trying, give it a couple of days and it should become available. Um, but I am working to, fast track that part as quickly as I can because I know everybody's excited. I know I'm excited as well. Okay. Does anybody have any questions? Andrea, yes. a question for you is we run multiple booths at the same time. Mm -hmm. So if uh, can any person going with my sign on onto ABC Smart Cookie, if they're running that booth, and so like the booth and take the credit card if they're all signed in at different places? So the nice thing with this is they actually sign in with their own user information and then they select the booth that they're at. So it will show all, so in this one it only showed one booth, but if you have multiple booths running, it will show all available booths. So the, the girls will have to make sure they're selecting the correct one in order for that one to get credit. But everybody will have their own sign in um, for the ABC system. The girls you're talking about, right? Correct. That's a girl, not a, not a parent running it or something. Correct. Well, I mean, it, the, the parents have that sign in with the girl, but no, you're not going to be giving your sign in information to anybody. They, that is why they need to make sure they have access to ABC, um, because they will have that on their, um, side. So does the girl get credit for that sale that they made with the credit card. It's not like you DVI. Like if I have four girls or five girls at the booth, usually we get everything together and split mm -hmm. it up. That's not what happens here. No. So that still happens. So with the booth credit, um, what it's doing is it's just telling you how much was made or how much was paid for, um, at the booth with credit card, you would still divide the cookies according to however your troop does that. Okay, so then they still all get credit evenly. It's not going to be like that Correct. credit per payment just goes to her only. Correct. The only time they would get credit just for themselves is if they're doing an individual sale um, to a customer outside of a booth setup. And that would be the, that second video that had the um, manage orders part. That is where they would get the individual credit. But when it's at a booth, you would still divide the cookies according to how um, your troop does it. Okay, perfect, thank you. Mm -hmm. Very good questions. Anybody else got a question for me? Andrea, for um, mom and me booths, they, wouldn't, they would not use the booth option, correct? Um, that's up to you guys. I would still recommend it because all mommy and me booths should be in the system anyways. Um, and that way it'll give you a better idea as to how much was sold um, at that booth via credit card versus how much you should be accepting cash wise for that one. But like we on our troop, we assign the girls the the parents order the cookies mm -hmm. and then they they get their own booths themselves. Like we pick their booth and we let them know what booth is available. Okay. And then they will sell out what they have on stock. So yes, if if you're not gonna be using um, like the booth smart divider or anything like that, then yeah, they can do it as a, a manage order as an individual order. If that is how you choose. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yes. So yes, um, Danielle, there will be, um, a couple of different reports. Um, I'm not going, 
I'm not going to go into the report so much on this one because I do have a, a training later that will cover reports in general. But yes, there will be reports that will cover credit card transactions. There will also be, if it's an individual sale, the, the money that was paid via the credit card will reflect on the girl's balance, just like if it was a direct ship purchase. Um, with If you do go through the booth divider, then it will just show as the money for that booth has been turned in. Um, not necessarily for that individual girl. Does that make sense? Awesome. How so the walkabouts, it would be through the, the manage orders. Um, you would go in as that individual sale. Um, they would take whatever information the, the customer's willing to give, put in that transaction, and then follow the steps through. Okay. You're welcome. Any other questions for me? That is a very good question, Gloria. I'm not, oop, am, I don't know if Beverly, uh, Beverly, are you having issues or was it me? Can you see me now? I can okay. see you now. Okay. Um, uh, Gloria, I'm not 100% certain if it, uh, how it will show up on their bank statement. Um, I will look into that though and see if I can find the answer and then let everybody know. Uh, just for your reference, we go through Hartford, I believe is the name of the company, um, but I'm not sure if it's going to show up as ABC or Girl Scouts. I'm not sure of that part. So that part, um, the receipts for the credit card transactions, that part will all be on the reports um, and that will already be reflected. So like on your girl balance summaries, uh, that part will be reflected. <laughs> uh, direct shipping cost to cook uh, customers. I will look into that. I know I was given the numbers, um, but I need to go find those numbers and then I will uh, get those out to everybody. You're welcome, Danielle. Ab um, hmm. That is a very good question, Michelle. Because walkabouts don't go into the system as a booth. No, I uh, hmm. Talk to me offline. We might need to, if you want to you do a walkabout as a group, as a troop, um, we may be able to do like a troop assigned uh, booth for that so that you can track it like that. Um, but yeah, we would need to add something into the system in order for that to work. You're welcome, Deanna. Ooh, the gift box option. I want to say yes, that is still available. Let uh, let me confirm that, Gloria, but I want to say yes, they can still do the, the gift box. I completely forgot about that. Okay, yeah, so for anybody who likes to do walkabouts as a troop um, and would like to be able to set it up in the system so that you can do the, the credit cards like that, email me directly um, your dates that you want, because I have to put it in as dates for that. Um, and I will put it in for as a troop assigned booth, um, but with, you know, not obviously not a store location or anything like that. So that way you'll have access to that credit card feature. Um, but just remember, it may take a couple of days for that credit card feature to completely turn on. Um, so please bear with me, but I will get that up as quickly as I can. Yes, uh, Katrina, I actually have those in the back of my car and we'll get them to you. Uh, Leslie is going to be here for the pickup on Saturday. She's going to take them back out for me and get them to you.
As far as I know, Katrina, that part, the APO, FPO has not changed. So if that has been allowed in the past, you can. Uh, gift box. So last year there was, I think it was brand new last year, there's a gift box option where you can, excuse me, purchase a gift box. I, I, I can't remember exactly how much the box itself was. Um, and you can put up to five varieties of cookies in it um, and then ship it. It was a really pretty box. Thankfully, it came from the company itself because they were a pain in the butt to put together. I remember that much. Um, but it was just a really pretty way if you wanted to send a gift to somebody. Um, and you could put any five varieties in there. But again, I, I want to say yes, it is still an option, but I completely forgot to look uh, to add that. So I will double check that that is still available. So for the Mommy and Me booths, if you guys don't do a checkout of cookies and then return cookies, um, then I would recommend not using the smart booth divider or the, um, I would recommend using it more on the personal side. It's all gonna depend on how you guys do the, the checkout of the cookies during those. And we can talk more offline, uh, I lost the name, Gabby, if you would like, we can talk more offline on the specifics on that one. Uh, yes, I did. And I think what I'm gonna end up doing is bringing them to you Saturday on my way home and I will swing out to Hobbs, so. It was online. Are you talking about the gift box, Michelle? Yes, yeah, it was online only. Um, you couldn't do the gift box option personally, but it's for online order orders only. You're welcome, Vixen. All right, any other questions for me? All right. Well, if you don't have any other questions for me, feel free to log off. I thank everybody for being here tonight. I will, again, have this training. I'm going to go ahead and stop the uh, recording.